the creepiest DC Comics villain. Now, a lot of villains, some of them are creepy, like Joker, uh, Venom, Carnage, Toxin, uh, the Batman who laughs, King Shazam. But the one creepy villain from DC Comics is Toy Man. Now, the first time I saw this character was on an episode of Superman the Animated Series. He didn't move his mouth. Okay? The look for the character was inspired by a puppet that was that like one of those puppets you see on Sesame Street or the Muppets or um cartoons? Like it's like one of those puppets that looks like a plushie, but the head and hands are made of plastic. Now Toy Man creeped me out out. Uh, but yes, he had the same look from Superman the Animated Series from the show and an episode of Static Shock. Then the same creepy look in the Harley Quinn TV show that's getting a fifth season this year. I don't know if it will be in November or not. But some people said it is. Then the Superman, the animated series, tie-in comics, you know, it's a tie-in comic book to the show after the show ended back in 2000. So, yeah, why I'm saying he's creepy is because of the smile. Two, I know he had a few changes. He had one in Superman Doomsday, you know, the 2007 cartoon movie, which was really dark, but it was PG-13. Then, um, he had, like, a a new look and um, and the Superman and Batman cartoon movies where he doesn't look like the toy man I'm talking about, he looks like he's in his like 20s, um, wear jackets like trench coats, goggles, gloves, jeans, boots, a shirt. Then he appeared in a video game, which I think was SSKT Jelp. JL, which was for the new season that everybody still hates because um, the game I'm talking about is the one I mentioned a few times. Uh, so, and then um, after that, like Superman Doomsday, they gave him, gave him a goatee, like a five o'clock shadow goatee. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Why he creeps me out is just a smile. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe!